Holy shit, it's back. It hasn't been back in two weeks, but it's back now. It's Game Jolt fucking Tuesday. What is up? I, I do apologize for missing the last two weeks. I've been busy. I haven't really been in my house. All that shit. So, we're going to play fucking Nightmare of Shadows. It's a horror game, I guess? I don't know. I was originally going to play this. I never want to see you again. That's the last thing she said to you. The words repeat in your dream over and over, like the steady thumb of a heartbeat. The train hums quietly as you rouse from your sleep. The midnight train wouldn't have been your first choice, but you need to get away as fat, and it was the first thing available. Uh, but I figured I should get a little bit more uh, traction in this community before I start to weird the shit of people. So, uh, horror game, Nightmare of Shadows, Game Jolt Tuesday. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Oh, great. A Five Nights at Freddy's pair, uh, ripoff. Yay. My favorite type of game. What a fucking luck. I... How the fuck do I control this motherfucker? Get over to... Ah. Okay. Is some fucking... Furry-themed goddamn animatronic gonna pop out on me like, Bruh, you fucking... I'm gonna fucking stuff you in a goddamn suit. <laughs> fuck. Oh yeah, by the way, I refuse to play Five Nights at Freddy's on this channel. It's not happening. Sorry if for whatever reason you would like it to happen, but it's not happening. I feel like at any moment I could be jump scared. And anybody could potentially. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news! Ah, fuck! Oh, room C. Oh, uh, something's happening over there. Ah! Ah, that actually kind of got me. Hi there. How you doing, buddy? Yeah! Wow, okay, that actually scared me. I will admit, I'm usually pretty immune to horror games, but, uh I mean, come on, man, it's a fucking jump scare. The atmosphere is not scary at all, though. And anybody who's like, yeah, you don't, you don't make games, you don't fucking, you don't know how to make games. Well, I'm working on one right now, all right? It's not going to be done for a little while, because if you don't know how to make games, they fucking take a long-ass time. But I am working on one right now, and hopefully it'll be out in... Seven months, maybe. I'm being generous with timing because you never know how long these will take. Ah, room C. Room C. That little fucker's gonna be there, isn't he? There, he's gonna be here. Hi, buddy. Run away. Run away. Run away. It's gonna jump scare me. Three, two, one. Shitty jump scare. Everybody loves it. Shitty jump scare. Shitty jump scares for all. Your job is to monitor the rooms. You can do it by going into A, B, C, or D. Why are these two capital? I don't care and using your flashlight. These are the room systems. If you are, e.g., in a room C and your flashlight is on, the counter of room C will, char will charge. Do not let any of the systems go all the way down. Okay. So I think what it's saying is if you're in room C, then the counter room, which should be D, will charge. Don't let any of them go down all the way. You also need to monitor the basement. You can do it by pressing the space and once in a while. Wow. It, just, it literally just says it right there. If you get jump scared by this, you shall press and hold control as soon as possible. You shall, or you should. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. Uh, go to room B. Uh, control. Room C. Uh, room C. Uh... Fuck! No, I clicked out of the game! Oh, no! Uh, recording... again... now! Uh... Okay, hold on, uh, down. God, that is so fucking irritating. I'm sorry, I know it probably... Motherfucker! Oh, fuck this game. In case you don't see it, it fucking just quit. It crashed. Ah, fuck, I'll be back in a minute. Hold on. Alright, we're fucking back at it again. That last game crashed and just destroyed everything. Yeah, it didn't work properly. So, we are in... Serena must die. The gear. 
I don't know. I'm assuming this uh, fine-looking lady over here, Serena, and we have E.T.'s methadic cousin on the other side. So, let's get into it, I guess. After you searched the house and found all eight pieces of the painting, Slender Man knocked you out. You know the secret of Slenderia. Slenderina? Is that Slender Man's wife? Is that the slender pussy that he hits? Yeah. And now you can't leave the house. They throw you in their basement. This place looks more like the bunker. You must find eight books if you want to leave this place alive. Good luck. Why am I just playing all fucking horror game ripoffs all of a sudden? Like, I swear this isn't intentional. Ah. Die. Die. Eesh. That is a serious earwake problem. Yeah. Ah. Bang. Boom, boom, boom. Well, I give him props for trying to turn a Slender Man game into a first-person shooter. Or at least a game based off of the Slender Man story plot. Which, admittedly, I don't know anything about. I haven't really played any of the Slender Man games. Uh, I don't know if I ever will be. But... I, I'm not going to play it... Hello? Oh, he gets to cheat. Why does he get to go through the fucking... Oh, hi there. You're not scary at all. So... I'm assuming I'm supposed to be scared. But... What the hell? Why don't I have any ammo? I just fucking... Ah, this is such bullshit. Uh, ooh, shoddy. Boom. Oh, fuck that, dude. Shotgun should be... Fucking one hit. Well, that's the end of me. I mean, the graphics for this game are nice. I have to give it that. It really does have good graphics. I mean... Uh, jump scares. Best possible way to scare somebody in a game. Shooter tits! Because... The only... The best way to kill Slendrina... Is her name. Is to shoot her in the tits. If you ever find a Slender Lady in real life, their tits are their weak spots. I am really struggling to find stuff to say about this game. I mean, I'm supposed to be finding books. Presumably the Harry Potter series. But I will admit, I haven't seen a single book. Furnace Room Key Acquired. I don't really know if I can call this a Slender Man ripoff. It's more of just a weird first-person horror shooter game. But... I mean, it's supposedly it's tied to Slender Man. They were talking about it in the opening. I don't know who made this. I don't know. I have a nice jumping sound. That is a s eight books you can leave. Uh, damn it. That is the sound of a man getting a thumb in his ass for the first time. Trust me, I have experience. Bang! Ow! Okay. That took out all of my health. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Another uh, little thing for the developers is a map screen would be nice. Whenever you have, like, I've always said that whenever you have a maze type thing like this, you should at least have some form of a map screen. Just so it doesn't get confusing and repetitive. Hey, book! Ah, shooter in the tits. Shooter tits. Shooter tits. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just flat out say it. This game, it's, it's not scary. On a 1 to 10 of the horror scale, I'm, I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a negative 2. You got weird earwicks. Giant earwicks, I guess. I don't know. Uh, that one goth girl from your high school. I think you need more monsters. It needs to be darker so it's more unexpected. It needs to move faster. I don't know. I don't consider myself like a s horror master on like I know the psychology of it to a whole, uh, I know it to like the psychological level, but I at least know that for what you're trying to do, it does have to be darker and faster paced. Um, because I guess you might get a jump scare out of it every now and then, but. It wears off really quickly, the uh, 
factor of that scare. You need to build up more of an atmosphere behind what you're trying to do. Um, there's really not that much of an atmosphere. Which is a huge reason why when you see these monsters you're not frightened that much. It's because you need atmosphere. You need atmosphere to build it up. It's like a cake. And the atmosphere of the game is like the base. And then the actual jump scare itself is kind of like the frosting. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. I could be clearly wrong about that. And I just sounded like the biggest dickhole ever. I also think that you should not have included a gun. Um, I think you need less enemies. And you need... The ability to fight back in Slenderman is kind of what... The ability to not be able to fight back is kind of what made Slenderman so scary in the first place. Was... There was great atmosphere. It was dark. There was... Forbod there wasn't really any music. There wasn't much sound. The only sound you heard was a deep, almost heartbeat-like rhythm. And when you don't give somebody a gun, and you don't have the ability to fight back, you give an intense feeling of helplessness. And it's that helplessness that is so scary about that game. Same with Five Nights at Freddy's. You feel helpless, but when you give them a gun, you take that, I, you take that feeling of helplessness, and it's not there. You have something to protect yourself with. It's more comforting. But once again, that's just my opinion. You can come to your own consensus on whatever horror game you'd like to play off a of game jolt. Once again, I'm no expert on the psychological processes of horror. All I've, I've just watched a shit ton of horror movies and played a shit ton of horror games. That's pretty much where my expert, not even expertise, that's where my knowledge comes from. But I should probably just point that out, that I'm no expert. Just my general opinion to the developers if they watch this. I know I'm kind of picking this apart a lot, but another thing that you need to work on a little bit is the music. Because, uh, the characters might make a sound, but music is what you will predominantly be hearing through your game. And music in a horror game is fine. It actually can really add to what I said is another huge aspect is the atmosphere. However, if that music isn't really up to par with what horror with your trying to go, it's really going to lose its effect, and it's not going to add any fear, and it's just going to make anything less scary. So try to up the music a little bit. Okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> the way she died was hilarious. I will admit. Don't take that statement, the way she died was hilarious, out of context, please. Oh yeah, another thing about having the gun is it takes a huge amount of the challenge away. Um, from what I can tell, these bullets keep on infinitely responding. And it's just not challenging, because I can kill whatever monster is coming after me. And that's what also made Slenderman hard, was if he was around you, you were fucked, because you had no way to fight him off. So it was seriously survival. But this, you can just shoot him. And I guess they're getting tougher but I can just run away from them and go to one of the points where those bullets respond. I don't know. This has gotten boring very fast. I have to find the storage room key, and I just don't feel like finding it. I really just... Can I go through this? Oh, hey, I can. Well, I feel like a dumb dick. Is that supposed to scare me? Well, I can't... Okay, I can open this. A furnace. A key! No, open up, asshole. Ah, ah shoot her in the tits. Shoot her tits. Shoot her tits. Oh, another thing I know I've found a lot of, but... Uh, you seem to be whore, uh, referencing this Slendina girl, I believe. She's... Do you fucking let me grab the key, please? Uh, you seem to be referencing her a lot as something tied to Slenderman in some form. Um, and if you want to have a singular, unique character to your game and add to the story plot of Slenderman, that's completely fine. And I actually... I always love it when fans of anything try to add to the story, but when you put multiple of that uh, model that you made for that character, um, Slendina, into the game you really take away her uniqueness, and she feels a lot less scary. She doesn't feel like a singular monster. 
she just kind of feels like, I don't know, some fucking thing that's just there. I don't know, it just really takes away from her impact as a horror monster. Oh yeah, another thing. Uh, responding health so quickly, it really also takes away from the challenge a shit ton. Just saying. I don't know. I If the developers actually end up watching this, which I doubt it, but hey, the person, uh, Escape It, from Hillary's Clash Dash, did comment saying he liked it, and thank you for that, by the way. If, once again, for some reason, you end up watching this. But, anyways. To the developers, you guys are definitely... Your graphics are great. Like, I have to give it to you. You're really trying on the graphics, and they do look, uh... Very good. Very realistic. Realistic. Like, for what you guys are doing, it's really good. But I think there's a lot of elements in your horror that you could greatly improve on. And if you can learn to improve on those, uh... Those aspects that I was kind of talking about... Look at me talking like I'm some kind of fucking expert on horror. No, just... I think that there's a lot of room for improvement in your games. And I really hope to see more of them in the future. Because this is a really promising start. For what could be some great fucking games. So yeah. Hope to see more of your games in the future. These books are going to be hidden away in really weird. Very unconventional places aren't they? Ah oh, the fucking last book. I'll find it eventually. I'm up to 20 minutes of fucking recording for this one game. This is the most recording I've ever done for an episode of Game Jolt Tuesday. Of the three that have existed. Ugh. The fuck is this? I refuse to stop recording until I beat this, though. Or until I actually die, somehow. Whichever comes first. Found it. Shooter, ah, shooter, shooter in the tits. tits. Shooter tits. Shooter tits. Shooter tits. Shooter tits. Titties. Hey, I did it on the first try. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh, that was great. Did you see her fucking dance before she died? Oh. I'm glad that ended with some fucking grade A comedy. Fuck. Well, to the developers who are off to a great start if you're watching this. But, like I said, definitely room for improvement. But never stop making games. Never stop. It's amazing what you guys are doing. Just making a game in general is so fucking hard. You can't not appreciate it for what it is. But I hope anybody who's fucking watching this liked it too. I, I don't I doubt very many people are going to be watching it. But if you did like it, I mean, fucking like it. Leave a like. You thumb up, thumb that, thumb up that shit, thumb, thumb and butt. Anyways, hope to see you all on the next game and jolt Tuesday. Live long and fucking prosper. Baby, it's 55 mil just to get me to the venue. Yeah, and the meter running, bitch. So let your boy continue reminiscing about them suckers that refuted the kid, eluded the kid, kicking suckers with Jupiter ears. I done organized the noise and put these suckers to shame. I'm the reason why your mama don't remember your name. I'm deep in the game, one in the same as spitters that killed you. You a couple snuffle up against some bitch, I'm a spitter.